Welcome to my 2023 start in X4 Foundations. There are many start point options in X4 Foundations. I've chosen Cradle of Humanity, which was released in March 2021. X4 Cradle of Humanity is the second big expansion for X4 Foundations, and it brings the X-Series back to Earth. While significantly increasing the size of the game's universe with new sectors, the expansion also welcomes two Terran factions to X4 Foundations, along with their economy, ships, weapons and stations. New game starts introduce the identity and political stance of the Terran factions, as well as to give an alternative perspective on existing story developments in X4 Foundations. Cradle of Humanity also sheds a light on what has happened to Earth in the decades since the Jump Gate shutdown. Of the two optional start points in Cradle of Humanity, I have gone for Project Genesis, where we play a young female scientist. Project Genesis is a guided playthrough with help along the way to get you started with missions and scripted events. We play Najia Takio, who is a Terran female. She starts out in Brennan's Triumph with a starting ship, the Rapier Scout ship, 5,000 credits, no property. It is your privilege to work for the reputable chief scientist, Dr. Rick Feynman. As a pioneer, you will have to be resourceful and most importantly of all, not disappoint the professor. Let's get into Project Genesis, Cradle of Humanity, X4 Foundations. Let us hear her story and see how the adventure begins. The mission statement of the Pioneer Initiative was to expand the Terran sphere of influence past Sol's gates. Refugee communities suddenly stranded when the gates were disconnected, along with disenfranchised people born on the outer rim of Sol, were brought together under the banner of expanding into the unknown. At first, it was merely a tool established by the Terran government with the express intent of keeping these disparate groups at arm's length and to create another protective buffer between Sol and the Gate Network. Ever since their inception, however, these resolute pioneers ceaselessly fought to loosen the Terran's grip over the organization in order to turn it into something truly inspiring and independent. For us Sagaris pioneers, science is the cornerstone of society. With the few resources we have available to us, it's the only way we could ever hope to make Brennan's triumph our home, and to truly free ourselves from the Terran yoke. For that reason, I could never give up the pursuit of knowledge, no matter what dangerous places it might lead me to. It's been years now since the Gate to Aldrin shut down. I wonder how the people there are doing. Are they scared? Do they miss their loved ones? I wonder if we're ever going to hear from them. So many technological advancements, and we're still mostly clueless about how the gates work and what affects them. We just take them for granted. I wish I could talk to whoever built them, ask them why. Why build a network of gates, and then leave? So many questions yet to be answered. I guess the upside is that I won't run out of things to investigate anytime soon. Najia, what are you doing? Are you off daydreaming again? Have you not read my message? I clearly stated the importance of this task. I have already set up all the instruments, and now I'm only waiting for you. Hurry up, we don't have all cycle. First message there from the good doctor. We have to go to our ship. She's the menus. There are keyboard shortcuts for most of the things I'm going to do, but I just haven't learned them yet. Here's the seat of my ship. Rapier. It's a rapier. We're going to undock. Just have a quick look around at my uh, cockpit here. What have we got? We've got some keyboard things there, unusable, I think. You can look left, right, up and down with the numeric keys to the right of the keyboard. So let's undock. W to go up. Targets are marked on the screen, helpfully. 
where we need to be. So as we're leaving this station here, the Sagaris Pioneers Terran Luxury Dock. You can see I've got direct mouse steering on by Shift and N. So let's get out there. I can see the surface of a planet in the distance, which we must be orbiting, I guess. Adjust the controls with W, A, S, and D. Oh, I've hit the top of the doorway there. But anyway, there's the planet, nicely rendered. There is our destination. It's critical that we stay on schedule, so please use your travel drive. So you see this is guide, he's telling us to use a travel guide, which we get in modes, as I say, it looks like shift and, is it shift and D, shift and one? Anyway, we'll learn those later. So going much, much, much faster now, as you can see, as we go past this space station, or whatever this is on the right. You will see lots of edits, but we'll have a quick look in the map to see what kind of distances we're going here, that's M. the satellites as precisely as possible. Major deviations could result in incorrect data, and my experiment depends on them being accurate. I would do it myself, but I have to monitor the data as it comes in. Right, he's always got an excuse for not doing stuff himself. Anyway, so hurtling along towards this point in space going around this planet, where the mission you can see there is to... Najia, please be precise. Oh, going to be too fast here. Oh. I need to, st to stop and turn around. So you see the mission indicator at the bottom left of the screen says deploy one satellite in the target area. So anyway, we've got to go for it here. Let's use tab to get a bit faster. Let's tap on the keyboard, that is. So here we are, deploy one satellite. So back to the menu. We do have a higher margin of error when placing this one, as we can compensate for any deviation with the subsequent satellites. Okay, Dr. Rick Feynman. So, here we are, we can see on the map hood thing at the bottom right that we are more or less in the center of that deployment sphere. So we're gonna go deploy civilian satellite. I've got five, so that's one deployed. It should be. First satellite deployed, although it's hardly worth mentioning as we need all three to gather useful data. Okay, so another target has popped up on the 3D there. Go towards that. I read in your file that your family has roots in Aldrin. That colony certainly developed some interesting technology when they were isolated. It's unfortunate that they're cut off again. It's almost as though the universe doesn't want us reunited. I, for one, am glad to be on this side of the gate and have access to Sol in its full glory. Maybe one day you too will be granted access to Earth. Bit of backstory here. Well, that would be nice to see Earth in the future, wouldn't it? Right, I'm still going way too far past my markers. Let's... We need to be more precise with positioning the second satellite. Okay, I'm trying to be precise. I'm just learning the controls. Exact I want placement to... is critical. You are outside the I area. know. Right, here we go. I think we're at the right place now. Four satellites deployed under the satellite. Is he happy with that? Second satellite deployment noted. One to go. Right. So here we are. We've quickly whizzed on to the next one. I think we have quickly missed up the next one. Here we are. Oh, that's a funny looking uh, thing. Must be, oh, must be for some alien culture. That one there on the right. Exact positioning is of the utmost importance for this one to get the optimal performance required for this experiment. God, what a bloody fussy is. Finally, third satellite deployed. Right, are you happy? It's about time. Duh, he's never happy. Right, mission completed, scientific preparation. We've done that. We've got an inactive message, which is... Where are messages? Are there messages? 
priority analysis, summary priority analysis. We would like to hire your service again to place satellites. Oh, that's nice. So first job, I've had made a good impression with somebody from Dr. Penelope Andrews. It's very important. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's have a look at some other stuff. Global orders, spacesuit of grades, mods, stats. Talardi, who are these? Talardi Company Terran Protectorate. What a lot of depth in this game there is. Right, anyway. Oh, there's an encyclopedia to learn about the galaxy. Brennan's Triumph, that's where we are now. A oh, nice little picture there. Description, originally connected to Earth via a jump gate. Brennan's Triumph, most significant planet, Taurus, was the first planet outside the blah, blah, blah. And the guy in prophecy, the Neptune, this gas giant was named for the Roman god of the sea. Or named after, as we would say in England. Right, uh, factions, Terran races, Sagaris pioneers, Talati company. Ah, so they're factions within the game. Or are they factions within... I don't know. Right, a lot of info. Uh, station modules, ships, combat ships, trading ships and construction ships. Katana and rapier. Well, I've got a rapier as we know. Uh, military equipment, wares, lots of stuff there. Blueprints, I guess, are used for making new stuff. So that's the encyclopedia. My information. I am a logo. Oh, you can choose a logo for this ship. More on that a little later, perhaps. So, right, and there's the sh colour. You can change the colour of your ship to sage. Uh, so, it is a little bit um, con customizable, configurable. So, anyway. Now, Gia, it here he looks is. like your security clearance has been approved. Please oh, come and see me so we can discuss this in person. Oh, all right. Got to fly to Oberth. Travel mode. Or oh, shift in one is travel mode. I'll have to learn that one. So anyway, we're flying towards Oberth. We can click on it. I think it'll give us some information at the bottom right. Oh, this, ah, right, this looks like uh, one of the jump gates. We're a bit offset at an angle here. Here we are, slightly later, just turning the ship around. You see lots and lots of traffic going through the, the jump gate. Jump gate, Sol. Ah, so this goes to Sol, which is, as everyone knows, is our, is our solar system that we have on Earth and our sun and our solar system. So we're going through the jump gate. And things should change to a different um, place in space and time. Well, space. Yeah, oh, here we are. We've done the gate. Oh, it's sort of saved the game. System. So, Sol. so we're in the Sol system now. We're in the entered space protected by the Terra Protect. Oh, who's this? To pure and radiant Sol, bastion of peace and prosperity. If you too want to protect this utopia and the stars beyond. Then do not hesitate. The soul born militia welcomes any and all volunteers to join the foreign auxiliaries, subject to qualification, and contribute their expertise to help maintain the safety of the gate network. Remember, we are the shield wall of civilization, and together we shall overcome. Overcome whom? So obviously that's another side mission there where you can go and be a join the militia to protect stuff for money, I guess. So all birth information unlocked, command, nothing, coal, shield, storage, crew. So anyway, we're getting towards here. Ah, you made ah. it. Unfortunately, we're still waiting on some of the team to arrive. In the meantime, perhaps you could do me a favour. Mm. I'm in need of an item not often found on the general market. Mm. Consider it a test of your resourcefulness. Mm. Or send over some details. It sounds illegal. Acquire an AGI processor. Or processor. Um, God knows what one is, but so it's over there. Just so you're not completely lost without my guidance, I've marked a potential location where you can hope to find the item. Check your map for those details. These items are often sourced from Xenon. 
but it would not be very professional of me to encourage you to seek them out. Xenon. I don't know what Xenon is, but I don't know if it's a place or a people or a culture or a faction. So, so we're going to the Computronic Substrata Fab S Luxury Docking Bay, so it would seem. So anyway, we're approaching this station. You can see there's two friendly ships leaving. They're blue, mock blue, so they're friendlies. Slightly later on, we can ask. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Uh, that's right, so we have to acquire an AGI processor. That's sort of the mission thing at the bottom left there. So we're going to go up, I think. Looks like it's got some Stargates attached to it. Maybe. So we're going to ask for docking permission ourselves. Docking granted. Granted. Helpful green indicator show you the path in which you should approach. The music I've taken off from in-game and used my own music, well, music I source from the YouTube library, which is free. Some of it is pretty good. So here we are, a little closer now, following the green indicators. Oh, there's a big shadow going over the ship, or the station. So just leveling up with um, Q and E to roll the ship. It's a Terran M liquid storage. The hull is 100% of this station, which is good. So we'll move along in here. Oh, that's indicating our ship. That is the shape of our ship externally, which we might see in a minute or two. There's a little indicator to level your ship up and land exactly in the right place. I don't have a docking computer right now. I'm all doing this manually with the keys myself and the mouse. So the top one means that... All clear. Move along. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. So anyway, this is the external view of the ship, you can see. Successfully docked. Great. So how do I get this a what was it age? Welcome. Right, I don't see one in the trading menu. What's the thing called? An AGI processor, yes. So we're gonna go down here. So if I can't get one officially through the trading menu, I get a feeling that this might might be a black market item. Just the way that uh, the good professor was. Hello. Hello. I can employ him if I wanted to. Bye. Goodbye. So go down here. Uh, fire exit signs. Good. Here's the little elevator lift thing. So I'm going to the bar, I think. I'm thinking that's where. Oh, by the way, I've named my ship Hawking. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. So, somebody here. Hello there. Hello. What, I don't know, a game there, Hello. relaxing playing there. Goodbye. Tara, she looks... Ah, yes, Black Marketeer. Saying Pang. Here you go. So, looks like I can't afford it, so I'm going to have to trade some of the stuff I've already got. I've given her two crystals, and I've got an AGI processor from her, yeah, so confirm that. I think I've got it. I'm just going to click on goodbye. Good luck out there. Thanks, same to you. Good luck to you. So, inventory items are things you carry on your body, as it were, on your person. You don't need to put them in the hold of the ship or anything like that. I will let her get ahead of us. Don't want to, you know, crowd her space. Huh? Who's that? I'm hearing voices now. Right, anyway, let's use the... We're going to our Hawking. This is the name of our rapier spaceship I named it. The Hawking 1. Just thought it was more, you know, up-to-date, as it were. So here we are. This is the external of the ship. 
Rapier. So let's just get back onto the cockpit and the controls. And we're going to look at some... See, I'm trying to make sure I've actually got the thing on me, but I, does it show that I've actually got it on my body, this processor? There's my name, Najia Takio. Uh, you see, I've designed my own logo now. I did that in a simple paint program. I assigned some normals to it and some glow. So we've got our own little logo on our ship. Now we're going to undock. Hopefully we might see our little logo in some exterior views. So let's just undock now. So Shift D, that would be, it says. Yes, and a nice marker appears on the screen to show us where to go. A bit of that music going in the background now. Hope it isn't too intrusive and is suitable mood wise. So I'm hoping to make this, uh, depending on response, a, a long time game plan of mine to play this because it is vast and it's supposed to be a lot of fun. There is a, a new DLC coming over it. That's the autopilot engaged. Autopilot engaged. So we'll go down and meet up now. We've got to go back to Oberth to meet up with the good doctor. As it appears to be orbiting Neptune. With its faint rings. So here we are, we're quite a distance away, but we've got docking, granted. docking permission. Looks like we've been assigned to Hoshi Williams, the PIO crew woman. So we go down, hopefully everything should go green when we're properly lined up. A bit further forward, I think. There it is, we've got it. Successfully docked. Great. So let's uh, get up. Control and D for that one. The seat rotates around. I follow the orangey, shiny pulsing line to where I need to go. So she's just out on there and there's, I don't know what the oxygen requirements are there, but she doesn't have any breathing equipment on. So we're going to go to the bridge. It's marked out in the ambery orange colour to go to. So we'll go there with Dr. Rick Feynman. The captain there was Malati, somebody. He must be down here. There he is. Deliver. Give AGI processor. Good job. You're just in time. We're about ready to disembark. Oh yeah, we're too. But well, saving the game. And we're off. So what's next for our intrepid young scientist? Tune in next time for more space adventures in X4 Foundations. Thank you everybody for watching. Give a like, subscribe. Catch you all later. Bye for now.